This video is about Basecamp to-do lists. There's a to-do list section in each team and project area. And it's a pretty useful tool to drive activity within Basecamp and kind of set up a guideline and get your team organized together. So in, within projects, I'm going to go to one of mine, it's video production. You can see here's the to-do list area. Two out of nine means there are nine to-dos and two of them are completed. There's two lists here and under each list there are several to-do items. So if I go to this list, I'm going to add a to-do. You can name it. You assign it to a person on your team or several people, as you can see here. And once you do that and you create it, that person gets notified. You can set a due date or a range. This is going to be done today, or you could have done, if I wanted to do it this week, So I'll have all week to do it. Here you can add notes, which is pretty helpful. You could also add links to things if you want other team members to see them. There's some formatting you can use. You could add a picture, a JPEG. You could also add files, which are pretty cool. If there was a PowerPoint that I wanted my team members to see regarding this to-do list, I could add that here. And then that would be available to everyone right within this to-do. Or I could add a spreadsheet. or even a drawings, a drawing from engineering, if it's about a part number or something like that. Click add, and now there's my to-do right here. I have the rest of the week to do it. You can see that. Once you've completed your to-do, you hit the check checkbox here. So let's say I've just completed this video. I go back to my list. I want to check this off the list. Check that. And now it goes down here under completed. And you can see on, in this list, three out of five of my to-dos are completed. And overall, three out of 10. So there's three complete ones here. As you can see, we haven't done any out of this list. So we better get started on that. <laughs> also, if you go to latest activity, you can see I create, you can see where I created the to-do and also where I completed it. 